हेलो गाइस गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन एन एकेडमी इंडियाज लार्जेस्ट लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म वी आर हेयर एट लेट्स क्रैक नीट पीजी माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर निधि आई एम अलुमनाय ऑफ किंग जॉर्ज मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी के जी एम यू लखनऊ आई एम टीचिंग यू ऑल फिजियोलॉजी एंड गाइज वी ऑल नो दैट फिजियोलॉजी वेटेज इज वेरी हाई एवरी ईयर फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन फॉर श्योर come in our neat pg examination so everyone clear the concept so that you can score more in your exam and you will be able to achieve your target you will be able to achieve your dream college everyone everyone install the earn academy learning app from the play store and follow this page that is unacademy.com/at-the-rate-kgmc this is my page you can follow me out there so that you can attend many more classes Good evening, Dr. Pandey. There is a paid course on concept of physiology. You can attend that by using my referral code. That is Dr. Nidhi. Good evening. There are many special classes which you can attend any time, anywhere. There are many other renowned educator on this platform, so you will be definitely benefited from these sessions, everyone. Now coming to the subscription, there are two type of subscription, plus and iconic. In plus subscription, you will be benefited with live classes. In an academy, daily live classes are going there. In live classes, you can interact with your educator. You can clear your doubt in your live classes only. There are many more live test series. Good evening, everyone. there are many live test live quizzes are there from that you can analyze your preparation there are many batch course there are many rapid revision course there are many capsule course which you can attend by using my referral code that is dr nidhi there is a structure schedule if you follow that you will be definitely able to achieve your target now coming to the iconic subscription and iconic subscription you will get benefited of all these four from the plus plus you will be benefited with the prep ladders in prep ladder you can access the video lecture you can access the question bank you can access the rapid revision course and you will also get a hand written note so if you want these also you can go for the iconic subscription now coming to the subscription fee subscription is very much economical out here for iconic subscription one year fee is 55000 Eighteen month fee is sixty six thousand. Twenty four month fee is seventy seven thousand, and thirty six month fee is ninety two thousand. After using my referral code, that is Doctor Nidhi, you will get instant ten percent discount in your subscription, and the subscription fee will become more economical for all of you. Twelve month fee will become forty nine thousand five hundred. Eighteen month fee will become fifty nine thousand four hundred. 24 month fee will become 69300 36 month fee will become 82800 now coming to the plus subscription in plus you can get the subscription of 1 month 3 month 6 month 11 12 month 18 month according to your requirement you can take the subscription if you are giving the exam this year only i will suggest you go for the one year one month or three month subscription and if you are planning for next year i will suggest go for the 12 month and 18 month subscription because these are the duration standard duration jisme aapka preparation definitely ho jayega and if you are a final year student you can go for 24 month 36 month theek hai this is the enough time so that you can get access to the video more and more and you can revise the lecture many more times Now coming to the using of my referral code that is Dr Nidhi you will get instant 10% discount in your subscription and one month fee will reduce and become 4500 good evening dr abhishek good evening dr apur three month fee will become 11250 six month fee will become 20250 12 month fee will become 24750 18 month will become 29250 and 24 month fee will become 36000 36 month fee will become 45000 so do use my referral code that is dr nidhi 
Now everyone download this app, Telegram app and follow the page that is Need Physiology or Unacademy Physiology so that you will get notification of every class and you won't miss a single class everybody. Chalo, ab apna topic start karte hai, we all now coming to our topic that is cardiac shock. What is cardiac shock? When the cardiac output decreases, what happened? Blood supply to demand ratio decreases. And this situation is nothing. It is all called as shock. Clear? Now coming to the effect on the body of shock. There will be drowsiness, irritability, anxiety, fainting. There will be fast pulse, excessive sweating, nausea, vomiting. There will be dizziness. There will be enlarged pupil, there will be sallow and rapid breathing, blue and or grey fingernails or lip, cold and pale skin. These all are the effect on our body. Now coming to the various type of shock. First is hypovolemic shock, second is neurogenic shock, third is cardiogenic shock, fourth is anaphylactic shock, fifth is septic shock. First coming to the hypovolemic shock. It is basically due to the hemorrhage or blood loss. And this shock is characterized with three stages. First is non-progressive or you can say compensated stage. Second is progressive stage. And third is irreversible stage. In non-progressive stage, as the name suggests that it will not progress. Why it will not progress? Because our body compensate that. Our body will increase the cardiac output. Okay? How it will increase cardiac output? By sympathetic nervous system activation. Okay? On sympathetic nervous system activation, there will be release of this norepinephrine. What will it do? It will increase our heart rate. Okay? And... We all know cardiac output is equals to heart rate into stroke volume. So our heart rate increases. So cardiac output also increases. And this norepinephrine also goes to our kidney. Wahan pe ye kya karta hai? It consists constrict our afferent atrioles. So the blood going to the kidney is diverted toward the heart. Clear? So blood reaching to our heart will increase. That's why our body compensate this at this stage. Okay? And our body also releases antidiuretic hormone that is our vasopressin. Okay? And this vasopressin kya karega? That will conserve the fluid and our blood volume increase ho jayega and our cardiac output increase ho jayega. Clear? Everyone, clear hai? Norepinephrine sympathetic nervous system activate hoga, norepinephrine release hoga, that will increase our heart rate, so cardiac output will increase. This norepinephrine goes to our kidney and constrict our afferent atrioles and blood flowing to the kidney will be diverted towards the heart. And next phenomena is our antidiuretic hormone secretion starts and this antidiuretic hormone will conserve our body fluid and blood volume will increase and this is compensated clear now coming to the next stage this is from the diagram you can see decreased blood pressure will activate the baroreceptor okay and the baroreceptor will activate our SA node and our heart rate will increase and then our blood pressure will increase this decreased blood pressure also activate our chemoreceptors and this chemoreceptor as we discussed will release noradrenaline okay and this will cause a vasoconstriction of afferent arterioles and our blood divert ho jayega towards the heart okay next phenomena drop in blood pressure will be sensed by our kidney and this kidney release the renin this renin convert the angiotensin to angiotensin 1 
and this angiotensin 1 is converted into angiotensin 2 in the presence of enzyme that is angiotensin converting enzyme or ACE which is secreted by our lung. Okay? And this angiotensin goes to our kidney to secrete the aldosterone. And this aldosterone kya karega? that will cause water and salt retention. And our blood pressure will increase. And this angiotensin 2 also go to our heart and cause vasoconstriction. Clear? And due to this vasoconstriction, blood pressure increases. Okay? This is how our compensatory phase starts. Clear? Now coming to the next stage. That is progressive stage. This stage requires treatment. If patient is not treated at this stage, patient will die. Okay? Why the patient will die? Because in this stage what happened? Coronary blood flow is decreased. And due to this, what happened? There is deterioration of cardiac function. Okay? And this deterioration of cardiac function further promote the decreased coronary blood flow. And this decreased coronary blood flow will further deteriorate our cardiac function. Thus, a viscous cycle start. Okay? And next is our blood vessel may clot formation shuru ho jayega. And venous return will decrease. Okay, venous return decrease hoga, to our cardiac output decrease hogi. That's why treatment is required in this stage. Otherwise, patient will die. Clear? Now, coming to the next stage. That is irreversible stage. As the name suggests, in this stage, if patient is treated, person will die. We cannot control at this stage. Clear? Why we cannot control? Because in this stage there is deterioration of energy sources. Both ATP and creatinine phosphate are decreased. And we all know the adenosine generation is at the rate of 2% of original level per hour. Very slow our adenosine regeneration start. Hai. Hai? That's why in this stage death is inevitable. Clear? Everyone? Compensated stage? Hai? Next our stage is treatment diya, to patient will survive. Last is irreversible stage. Clear? Now coming to the next shock that is neurogenic shock. In neurogenic shock what happened? Due to the inhibition of sympathetic nervous system, our neurogenic shock. And this sympathetic nervous system is inhibited by our general anesthesia and spinal anesthesia. And this anesthesia will cause decreased heart rate. Our sympathetic nervous system inhibit ho jayega. Heart rate decrease ho jayega. And this decreased heart rate will cause decreased cardiac output. Clear? Up next phenomena hai, that is vasodilation. This vasodilation will cause decreased venous return to our heart and our cardiac output decreases. Clear? Now coming to the next shock that is cardiogenic shock. Take it as the name suggests shock is arising due to our heart. Any heart disease will cause Decrease cardiac output and this type of shock is known as cardiogenic shock. Clear? Chal. Ab aate hai next shock that is anaphylactic shock. It is due to the chemical that is histamine. Very much important everyone remember anaphylactic shock is due to the histamine. What does it do? Histamine increases the capillary permeability. And capillary permeability increase hoga, there will be fluid loss. And due to this fluid loss, what happened? Cardiac output decreases. Thikhe? And this stamina also causes vasodilation. And due to this vasodilation, venous return will decrease. And thus our cardiac output will decrease, resulting into shock. Clear? This is anaphylactic shock. 
Now coming to the next shock that is septic shock. What does happen? In bacterial infection there will be fever. Okay? And due to this fever there will be temperature rise. And due to the temperature rise blood flow increases. And it causes increased cardiac output. This is the special type of shock which is occurring due to increased cardiac output. Okay, everyone remember this point. In septic shock, there is a shock due to increased cardiac output. Clear? And this shock is characterized by fever. Clear, everyone? Now coming to the next topic that is blood vessels. Blood coming from iota reaches to the artery. From artery, it goes to the arterioles. From arterioles, it goes to the capillary network. Okay? And this capillary network joins to form venules. And many venules join to form our vein. And these all vein will drain the blood into our superior vena cover and inferior vena cover. Clear? These all are blood vessels which are important in our coronary circulation. Now coming to the first part that is iota. Iota is highly elastic vessel. Why is this elastic Due to the presence of protein elastin and fibrillin. These two proteins are important. Elastic vessels. Why Due to the presence of elastin and fibrillin. And in Marfan syndrome, what happened in Marfan syndrome? This fibrillin protein is absent. So, in this case, mein kya hota hai? there is inherited disorder of connected tissue affecting our heart, affecting our eye, blood vessels, and skeleton. Clear? Iota is highly elastic vessel due to the presence of elastin and fibrillin. In Marfan syndrome, this fibrillin protein is absent. Clear? Everyone. Now coming to the most important effect that is wind castle effect shown by our iota. Due to the elastic nature of iota, what happened during ventricular systole, our iota kya karta hai? distend karta hai. and it accumulates the blood. And during diastole, what happened? Our jo iota hai, that recoils. And due to this recoil, our blood is pushed towards further. Clear? This phenomena is known as Wendt-Kessel effect. Clear everyone? This Wendt-Kessel effect is due to elasticity of iota. What happened during ventricular systole? Iota is and accumulate the blood. And during diastole what happened? Our iota recoil and pushes the blood forward. Clear? Now coming to this part that is our cross-sectional area. Our graph is for vessel diameter. So, the most diameter is our iota. Ko hota hai. Then arteries, then muscular arteries, then arterioles, then capillaries. सबसे कम हमारी वेसल की डायमीटर होती है कैपिलरीज की ठीक है फिर इंक्रीज होता है वेन्यूल्स देन वेन देन वेना का ठीक है अब बात करते हैं टोटल क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया की टोटल क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया अगर बात करते हैं तो कैपिलरीज की सबसे ज्यादा होती है क्यों सबसे ज्यादा होती है क्योंकि नंबर ऑफ कैपिलरीज जो हैं वो ज्यादा है क्लियर आयोटा सिंगल है वेसल ज्यादा का डायमीटर ज्यादा है बट क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया हमारी कैपिलरीज की ज्यादा होती है बिकॉज़ नंबर ऑफ कैपिलरीज आर मोर ठीक है क्लियर एवरीवन चल नाउ कमिंग टू द ब्लड फ्लो वेलोसिटी वेलोसिटी वी ऑल नो इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द एरिया and we all discuss ki hamara jo area cross sectional total cross sectional area of iota is less that's why velocity blood flow ki jo velocity hai that is highest in our iota 
क्लियर एवरी वन सेम चीज यहां दिया हुआ है टोटल क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया इज हाइएस्ट ऑफ आवर कैपिलरीज दैट्स वाई वेलॉसिटी ऑफ ब्लड फ्लो इन कैपिलरी इज मिनिमम क्लियर एवरी वन यहां तक क्लियर है किसी को कोई कंफ्यूजन तो नहीं चलो अब बात करते हैं आर्टेरियोल्स की आर्टेरियोल्स हैज मैक्सिमम वैस्कुलर स्मूथ मसल रिमेंबर दिस पॉइंट एवरीवन आर्टेरियोल हैज वैस्कुलर मैक्सिमम वैस्कुलर स्मूथ मसल ड्यू टू दिस स्मूथ मसल कंस्ट्रक्शन आवर एट्रियोल अंडरगो वेजो कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड ड्यू टू दिस वेजो कंस्ट्रक्शन हमारा जो आर्टेरियोल्स है उसकी रेजिस्टेंस इंक्रीज होती है एंड ब्लड फ्लो डिक्रीज एंड ड्यू टू दिस स्मूथ मसल रिलैक्सेशन आर्टेरियोल्स अंडर गो वेजो डायलेशन एंड ड्यू टू दिस वेजो डायलेशन रेजिस्टेंस डिक्रीज एंड ब्लड फ्लो इंक्रीज दैट्स वाई आवर आर्टेरियोल्स इज ऑल्सो नोन एज रेजिस्टांस वेसल clear why arterioles are called as a resistance vessel because of presence of vascular smooth muscle lining our atrial undergo vasoconstriction and vasodilation that's why it is also known as resistance vessel clear now coming to the capillaries capillaries is also known as exchange vessels क्यों कहा जाता है इसे एक्सचेंज वेशन बिकॉज गैसियस एक्सचेंज बिटवीन द कैपिलरीज एंड इंटरस्टिशियल स्पेस अकर्स थ्रू दिस कैपिलरी ओनली ठीक है एंड जहाँ पे ओपनिंग ऑफ आर्टरी इन कैपिलरीज इज गार्डेड बाई प्री कैपिलरी स्पिंक्टर एंड दिस स्पिंक्टर अंडर गो इंटरमिटन कॉन्ट्रैक्शन एंड रिलैक्सेशन एंड दिस फेनोमिना इज नोन एज वेजो मोशन क्लियर Opening of artery in the capillary is guarded by pre-capillary sphincter. See this diagram. Opening of artery into the capillary is guarded by this sphincter. That is capillary pre-capillary sphincter. ठीक है clear everyone. And this pre-capillary sphincter undergo vaso motion that is intermittent contraction and relaxation of this capillary sphincter is our vaso motion clear everyone chal ab aate hain different type of capillaries ke liye first is this continuous type this continuous type isme kya hota hai endothelial cell form a continuous tube except at the level of intercellular cleft इस क्लेफ्ट को अगर छोड़ दे तो बाकी पूरी कैपिलरी में इंडोथीलियल सेल एक ट्यूब फॉर्म करता है ठीक है ये कहां कहां प्रेजेंट होता है दिस इज प्रेजेंट इन आर ब्रेन लंग डॉक्टर अहमद वॉट इज विंड कैसल सी Wind Kessel effect is shown by our aorta due to its elasticity. What is Wind Kessel effect? During ventricular systole, what happened? Our aorta distend. Due to this elasticity, our aorta is distending during the ventricular systole. ठीक है Aorta distend and store the blood. ठीक है And during diastole, what happened? This aorta 
recoil and it come to its original shape and thus pushes the blood forward. This phenomena is nothing, it is our Windekessel effect. Clear? Or vasomotion kya hai? Vasomotion. Vasomotion kya hai? Pre-capillary sphincter. This pre-capillary sphincter undergo intermittent contraction and relaxation. This is vasomotion. Okay? Clear? Dr. Ahmed, is this clear? What is wind castle? What is vasomotion? Coming to the next type of capillary that is fenestration. Okay? In this fenestration, there is a small fenestration or pore. It is present in our kidney, villi of small intestine, choroid plexus in brain and endocrine glands. Okay? And a last type of capillary is sinusoidal. In this, there is a large fenestration. These large fenestration and the basement membrane is incomplete. So, from this fenestration, protein and RBC can pass. And this is present in our red bone marrow, liver, spleen, interior pituitary. Clear? These are type of capillaries. Continuous, fenestrated and sinusoidal. Clear? Now coming to the veins. Veins are the storage reservoir. Our 55 to 65% of blood volume is present in our vein. And these veins have maximum distensibility. Maximum distensibility here. That's why the capacity to store blood in veins will be more. That's why vein is also known as capacitance vessel. Arterioles are known as resistance vessels. Veins are known as capacitance vessels. Our aorta source, wind kessel effect. Clear everyone? Why vein is known as capacitance vessels? Because it has maximum distensibility so that it can store more blood. Clear? What happened in congestive cardiac failure? this pulmonary vein distends because of its distensibility this pulmonary vein distend ho jata hai to store the blood that's why we will get orthopnea and dyspnea clear everyone chal ab aate hai distribution of our blood in our whole body 65% of blood is in our systemic venous system theek hai Large vein contain 18% and large venous network in our liver, bone marrow and skin consists of 25% blood. Venous and medium sized vein, it will contain 25% of blood. Okay, now we have pulmonary circuit. Vein. Our pulmonary circuit contains 9% of blood. Okay, our heart contains 7% blood. distensibility and compliance hamara vein ki capacity hoti hai to distend theek hai that's why it is also known as capacitance vessels 
कॉम्प्लायंस सेम टर्म है डिस्टेंसिबिलिटी एंड कॉम्प्लायंस सेम टर्म है बट मोस्टली जो डिस्टेंसिबिलिटी हम यूज करते हैं वो वेन्स के लिए यूज करते हैं कॉम्प्लायंस वी यूज फॉर कॉम्प्लाइंस वी यूज फॉर आर लंग ठीक है बट जो मीनिंग है जो उसकी मेन डेफिनेशन है दैट इज सेम बोथ आर एबिलिटी टू स्ट्रेच बोथ डिस्टेंसिबिलिटी एंड कॉम्प्लायंस इज एबिलिटी टू स्ट्रेच बट मोस्टली जो कॉम्प्लायंस टर्म है दैट वी यूज फॉर लंग एंड डिस्टेंसिबिलिटी फॉर वेन अगर हम वेन के लिए भी कॉम्प्लायंस टर्म यूज करते हैं तो देर इज नो डिफरेंस ठीक है डॉक्टर अहमद क्लियर अब बात करते हैं सिस्टमिक आर्टीरियल सिस्टम दे कंटेन फिफ्टी थर्टीन परसेंट ऑफ अ ब्लड एंड हमारे सिस्टमिक कैपिलरीज में फाइव टू सेवन परसेंट ऑफ अ ब्लड ही प्रेजेंट होता है क्लियर This is our blood distribution. अच्छा Now coming to the next topic that is exchange forces or starting forces. इसमें काफी सारे pressures आते हैं First is hydrostatic pressure. Second is ऑनगॉटिक pressure. ठीक है वॉट इज हाइड्रोस्ट्रेटिक प्रेशर इट इज द फोर्स एक्सर्टेड बाई द फ्लूड ठीक है एंड इसकी टेंडेंसी क्या होती है टू मूव द फ्लूड अवे इन टू द नेबरिंग कंपार्टमेंट वॉट इज हाइड्रोस्ट्रेटिक प्रेशर इट इज द प्रेशर एक्सर्टेड बाई एक्मुलेटेड फ्लूड एंड इट हैज टेंडेंसी टू मूव द फ्लूड अवे इन टू द नेबरिंग कंपार्टमेंट कैपिलरी हाइड्रोस्ट्रेटिक प्रेशर इज ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम ऑफ एच जी एंड इंटेस्टिशियल हाइड्रोस्ट्रेटिक प्रेशर इज माइनस टू एम एम ऑफ एच जी आवर इंटेस्टिशियल हाइड्रोस्टैटिक प्रेशर इज नेगेटिव ठीक है बट इन मसल इन लिवर एंड इन ब्रेन दिस इंटेस्टिशियल स्पेस हाइड्रोस्टैटिक प्रेशर इज पॉजिटिव क्लियर एवरी वन हाइड्रोस्टैटिक प्रेशर ऑफ कैपिलरी कितनी होती है ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम ऑफ एच जी इंटेस्टिशियल स्पेस की कितनी होती है माइनस टू एम एम ऑफ एच जी ठीक है इन मसल इन लिवर एंड इन ब्रेन इट इज पॉजिटिव क्लियर नाउ कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट प्रेशर दैट इज कोलाइटल ऑनकॉटिक प्रेशर इट इज ड्यू टू द प्रोटीन एंड आर मेजर प्रोटीन इज एल्बिमिन सो दिस इज बेसिकली ड्यू टू आर एल्बिमिन and iski tendency kya hoti hai to pull the water towards it by osmosis theek hai our capillary ki hamari jo ye oncotic pressure hoti hai that is 25 mm of hg because in capillary the amount of albumin is more theek hai एंड इंटेस्टिशियल स्पेस की ऑनकॉटिक प्रेशर की बात करें तो इट इज थ्री एम एम ऑफ एन जी क्लियर अब आते हैं नेट फिल्टरेशन पे तो नेट फिल्टरेशन प्रेशर क्या हो जाएगा फिल्टरेशन फोर्सेस माइनस रिजॉर्बशन फोर्सेस और फिल्टरेशन फोर्सेस कौन कौन से हो जाएंगे हमारा हाइड्रोस्टैटिक प्रेशर ऑफ कैपिलरी इज फिल्टरेशन फोर्स ठीक है ऑनकॉटिक प्रेशर ऑफ इंटेस्टिशियम is our favoring force ठीक है और resorption forces कौन कौन से हो जाएंगे hydrostatic pressure of our interstitium and oncotic pressure of our capillary ठीक है तो from this formula we can derive the net filtration pressure clear everyone हाइड्रोस्टैटिक प्रेशर की टेंडेंसी क्या होती है टू मूव अवे इन टू द नेबरिंग कंपार्टमेंट तो हाइड्रोस्टैटिक प्रेशर ऑफ कैपिलरी की डायरेक्शन क्या हो जाएगी टूवर्ड्स इंटरस्टिशियम ठीक है और इंटरस्टिशियल की हाइड्रोस्टैटिक प्रेशर क्या हो जाएगी टूवर्ड्स आवर कैपिलरी 
तो ये फिल्टरेशन फोर्स हो जाएगा ये रिजॉर्बशन फोर्स हो जाएगा ऑनकॉटिक प्रेशर की टेंडेंसी क्या होती है टू मूव वाटर मॉलिक्यूल टूवर्ड्स इट वाया ऑस्मोसिस तो इंटस्टिशियम की किधर हो जाएगी टूवर्ड्स इंटस्टिशियम और कैपिलरी की क्या हो जाएगी टूवर्ड्स कैपिलरी तो ये हो जाएगा हमारा फिल्टरेशन फोर्स ये हो जाएगा हमारा रिजॉर्बटिव फोर्स क्लियर चल नाउ कमिंग टू द लिम्फ जो अभी हम पढ़ रहे थे फिल्टरेशन दैट फिल्टरेशन जब भी मोर होता है रिजॉर्बशन से तो फ्लूड एकमलेशन होता है हमारे इंटरस्टिशियल स्पेस में एंड दिस फ्लूड एकमलेशन इज लिम्फेटिक सर्कुलेशन क्लियर Now coming to the function. What is function of this lymph? Lymph help in exchange of nutrient gases between blood and the cells. Clear? And there is GIT lymphatics, जिसको हम lacteals या milky appearance की वजह से इसको lacteals कहते हैं, that help in absorption of long chain fatty acids. ठीक है? These all are function of our lymph. अब आते हैं लिम्फेटिक सर्कुलेशन में फ्रॉम हार्ट ब्लड गोज इन टू द कैपिलरीज एंड फ्रॉम कैपिलरी इट विल बी फिल्टर्ड इन टू द इंटस्टिशियल फ्लूड ठीक है एंड दिस इंटस्टिशियल फ्लूड इज आर लिम्फ नाउ दिस लिम्फ गो इन टू द लिम्फेटिक कैपिलरीज फ्रॉम लिम्फ कैपिलरीज गो टू लिम्फेटिक वेसल्स From lymphatic vessel, it go to the right lymphatic duct and left lymphatic duct. Clear? From right lymphatic duct, it will go to the right subclavian vein, and from left lymphatic duct, it will go to the left subclavian vein. Both these subclavian vein open into our superior vena cava. Okay? And from superior vena cava, our blood again reaches to our heart. Clear? This is lymphatic circulation. ठीक है clear everyone? चलो now coming to the factors affecting lymph flow. There are some factor which increases the lymph flow, and there are some factor which decreases the lymph flow. First, increased lymph flow. It is via lymphatic pump. Contraction of a muscle also increases the lymph flow. Pulsation of artery also causes increased lymph flow. Massaging also promotes the lymph flow. Now coming to the decreased lymph flow, or you can say increased lymph production. ठीक है, decreased lymph flow will cause fluid accumulation, and this fluid accumulation is our edema. ठीक है, अब बात करते हैं, this edema is due to first Due to decrease in resorptive force. अब resorptive force कब decrease होगा? जब हमारा oncotic pressure of capillary decrease हो जाएगा, तो resorptive force हमारा decrease हो जाएगा. And oncotic pressure of capillary is due to albumin. और ये कब decrease होगा? जब albumin decrease है. तो एल्बुमिन कब डिक्रीज हो सकता है या तो एल्बुमिन का प्रोडक्शन डिक्रीज है या इसका एक्सक्रीशन इंक्रीज है इन बोथ दिस सिचुएशन व्हाट विल हैपन ऑनकॉटिक प्रेशर ऑफ कैपिलरी डिक्रीजेस ठीक है तो लिवर डिजीज में क्या होता है हमारा एल्बुमिन का प्रोडक्शन कम है दैट्स व्हाई ऑनकॉटिक प्रेशर ऑफ कैपिलरी कम है दैट्स वाई रिजॉर्बटिव फोर्सेस कम है यानी फिल्टरेशन ज़्यादा है, इट विल रिजल्ट इनटू एडिमा, क्लियर? नेफ्रोटिक सिंड्रोम, नेफ्रोटिक सिंड्रोम में क्या है? एल्बुमिन का एक्सक्रीशन है, दैट्स व्हाई ऑनकॉटिक प्रेशर ऑफ कैपिलरी इज लेस, दैट्स व्हाई फिल्टरेशन इज मोर, फिल्टरेशन फोर्स इज मोर, सो देर विल ब Clear? Next is lymphatic obstruction. This lymphatic flow ka obstruction hai, that will also cause edema. And the most common cause of lymphatic obstruction is our phagariasis. Clear? 
everyone अब लास्ट टॉपिक है एवी एनास्टोमोसिस इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज शंट वेसिस इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज थ्रू फेयर वेसिस ये क्या होता है नॉर्मली क्या होती है आर थ्री डिवाइड्स इन टू आर कैपिलरी नेटवर्क एंड दिस कैपिलरी नेटवर्क ज्वाइन टू फॉर्म आर विन्यूल्स ठीक है बट इन सर्टन एरिया लाइक स्किन फिंगर टिप्स देर इज नो कैपिलरी आवर आर ट्री डायरेक्टली कंटिन्यू इन टू द वेन ठीक है एज देर इज नो कैपिलरी देर इज नो एक्सचेंज सो इट इज हेल्पफुल इन टेम्परेचर रेगुलेशन क्लियर कहाँ कहाँ हमारे सेंट वेसल्स प्रेजेंट होते हैं स्किन फिंगर टिप्स देर इज नो कैपिलरी सो देर विल बी नो एक्सचेंज ऑफ टेम्परेचर so it will be helpful in temperature regulation clear everyone this is all about today's class kisi ko koi doubt to nahi hai chalo ab questions karte hain mean site of peripheral vascular resistance is precapillary arterioles precapillary sphincters capillaries wind kessel vessels everyone answer this question main site of peripheral vascular resistance is everyone answer this question we already discussed in today's class only pre capillary sphincter no aaj hi humne padha tha vascular resistance our resistance vessels which is our resistance vessels our arterioles are resistance vessels why they are called resistance vessels because of presence of vascular smooth muscle lining due to this smooth muscle lining it undergo vasoconstriction and vasodilation thus changing the resistance of blood flow that's why it is known as resistance vessels so answer is pre capillary arterioles clear everyone chalo next question the velocity of blood is maximum in the option a large vein option b small vein option c venules option d capillaries What happened? Clear here, Doctor Ahmed. The velocity of blood is maximum in. Everybody, answer this question. the velocity of blood is maximum in answer this question everyone velocity of blood is maximum in velocity is inversely proportional to the area and we already discussed total cross sectional area टोटल क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया जो हमारी लार्ज वेन है आयोटा है एज दे आर लेस इन नंबर और यू कैन से वन और टू लार्ज वेन कौन कौन सी है सुपीरियर वेना कावा इन्फीरियर वेना कावा 
एवटा हमारा सिंगल है दैट्स वाई टोटल क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया ऑफ दीज टू आर लेस क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया लेस है वेलॉसिटी विल बी मोर आंसर इज ए क्लियर अच्छा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ ब्लड फ्लो इज मेनली रेगुलेटेड बाय आर्टरीज आर्टेरियोल्स कैपिलरीज विन्यूल्स एवरीवन आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ ब्लड फ्लो इज मेनली रेगुलेटेड बाय Everyone, answer this question. अभी जस्ट हमने डिस्कस किया डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ ब्लड फ्लो इज मेनली रेगुलेटेड बाय आवर रेजिस्टेंस वेसल्स दिस रेजिस्टेंस वेसल विल गो वेजो कंस्ट्रिक्शन एंड वेजो डायलेशन वेरी गुड डॉक्टर अहमद आंसर इज बी आर्टेरियोल्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट करेक्ट रिगार्डिंग द कैपिलरीज ऑप्शन ए ग्रेटेस्ट क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया ऑप्शन बी कंटेन ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ ब्लड ऑप्शन सी कंटेन लेस ब्लड दैन वीन्स ऑप्शन डी हैव सिंगल लेयर ऑफ सेल बाउंडिंग द ह्यूमन एवरी वन आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन Which of the following statement is not correct regarding capillaries? Everyone, answer this question. Chalo. First statement: total cross-sectional area greatest correct. It contain five percent of blood, not twenty five. It contain only five to seven percent of the blood. Okay, option B. Very good, Doctor Aman. Contain less blood than vein. Our vein contain fifty five to sixty five percent of blood. Single layer into thallium layer hota present. Clear? Next question. Which of the following statement is true about capillaries? Option A contain five percent of total blood volume. Option B contain ten percent of total blood volume. Option C velocity of blood flow is maximum. Option D offer maximum resistance. Everyone answer this question. Which of the following statement is true regarding capillary? नो डॉक्टर अभिषेक आंसर इज ए अभी जस्ट हमने डिस्कस किया अवर कैपिलरी कंटेन ओनली फाइव टू सेवन परसेंट ऑफ ब्लड वॉल्यूम वेरी गुड डॉक्टर अहमद नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग फेवर्स फिल्टरेशन एट द आर्टीरियोलर एंड ऑफ द कैपिलरी बेड ऑप्शन ए डिक्रीज इन हाइड्रोस्टैटिक प्रेशर ऑफ कैपिलरी ऑप्शन बी इंक्रीज इन हाइड्रोस्टैटिक प्रेशर ऑफ कैपिलरीज Option C increase in oncotic pressure of capillaries. Option D increase in oncotic pressure of interstitium. Everyone, answer this question. This is question in AIMS November two thousand six. Which of the following favors filtration at the arteriolar end of capillary bed?
वेरी गुड डॉक्टर एमर आंसर इज बी हमारा जो फिल्टरेशन है दैट विल बी फेवर वेन फिल्टरेशन फोर्सेज इंक्रीजेस एंड रिजॉप्टिव फोर्सेज डिक्रीजेस फिल्टरेशन फोर्सेज कौन कौन से हैं आवर हाइड्रोस्टैटिक प्रेशर ऑफ कैपिलरी आवर इंटेस्टिशियल ऑनकॉटिक प्रेशर रिजॉप्टिव फोर्सेज इज आवर हाइड्रोस्टैटिक प्रेशर ऑफ इंटेस्टिशियम एंड ऑनकॉटिक प्रेशर ऑफ कैपिलरी ठीक है वेरी गुड एवरी वन आंसर इज बी नेक्स्ट माइक्रो सर्कुलेशन कंसिस्ट ऑफ कैपिलरीज कैपिलरीज वेन्यूज आर्टेरियल्स ऑप्शन सी अयोटा ऑप्शन डी आर्टरीज एंड वेन एवरी वन आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन माइक्रो सर्कुलेशन कंसिस्ट ऑफ माइक्रो सर्कुलेशन कंसिस्ट ऑफ कैपिलरीज विन्यूज एंड आर्टीरियल्स आंसर इज बी क्लियर नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाइएस्ट कॉम्प्लायस इज सीन इन विच वेसल्स डॉक्टर अहमद आप पूछ रहे थे कॉम्प्लायस एंड डिस्टेंसिबिलिटी सेम है क्या सेम क्वेश्चन आ गया हाइएस्ट कॉम्प्लायस इज सीन इन विच वेसल्स आर्टरीज वेन्स अयोटा कैपिलरीज एवरी वन आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन highest compliance is seen in which vessel yes b very good everyone chal That's all for today. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Hope you like the session. If you like the session, do like and share with your friends so that many more can join. And subscribe our channel. That is Let's Crack Neat PG. And press the bell icon so that you will get notification of every class and you won't miss a single class. Everybody, follow me on Telegram. Page is Neat Physiology or An Academy Physiology. Search this thing, and you will get my page and follow me out there. Most welcome everybody. Do use my referral code if you take the subscription, so that you will get instant ten percent discount in your subscription. learning from home can be difficult but you can definitely achieve your target you can definitely be in your dream college what you all have to do you have to revise your topic as many time as you can and do more and more mcq only then then you will be able to apply your theoretical knowledge into your questions so i will highly suggest do more and more mcq everyone you will definitely crack your exam with good rank Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Most welcome, Dr. Apoor. Most welcome, Dr. Pandey. Most welcome, welcome, Dr. Ahmed. Most welcome, Dr. Ambuj. Most welcome, Dr. Abhishek. Thank you so much for joining. Do use my referral code if you take the subscription, so that you will get instant ten percent discount in your subscription. कल की क्लास भी same time five o'clock होगी. Most probably कल हम blood physiology पढ़ेंगे. That's all.